Well, let's speak of a momentary advantage, the Garland decision, the decision not to give Garland a committee hearing. You were in the Senate then. It's not necessarily your decision, Mitch McConnell's in leadership, to do that. Uh, in hindsight, was that the right call? You know, I think so. Um, again, and you've already made this point today, it's all, well, they started it. Uh, but in both As you said to me earlier, it's always Schumer, them, right? It's always them. It's always them. It's always them. Senator Schumer and Senator Biden both at different times in the Bush administrations had said the year before the election, if there's a vacancy, we won't fill it. And there wasn't even a vacancy. This is just kind of a preemptive uh, shot to let that happen. Uh, and even if we weren't going to approve Garland, uh, and you could argue maybe we should have had a hearing, I, I think the way these hearings go, that would in many ways have been unfair to him, uh, to put him through a hearing to know that to not be approved. I, I actually supported the majority leader's decision at the time and still think uh, in the politics of the country yeah. and the way these confirmations have happened, when you have the majority and the president's from the other party, they're just a, a long history of not filling an election year vacancy. Yeah, but they, don't you look at the Amy Coney Barrett thing? I mean, it looked like it was rammed through at the last minute, right? It was exactly, let, let's take Joe Biden at his word of what he was worried about back then. That was exactly the, the picture that I think anybody was comfortable with. We're in the midst of a presidential election. You throw that in there where, you know, depending on, the, depending on, on when somebody might pass away depends on, on, on how that works. Given what happened with Garland, do you see how so many people look at that and think, come on, the rules for thee, but not for me? Well, I will say in, uh, in that year, I had more people at the airport and other places mention that, that single thing to me than I've ever had of any other thing. Why don't you give Garland a hearing? And I think I probably gave them the same answer I just gave you. He won't be confirmed. Having a hearing would be a mistake for him and for the country, uh, but I, I get it. Now the difference, of course, the next the next year before mm -hmm. uh, a presidential uh, change is that the president's party has the majority, mm -hmm. and that's a different circumstance in a substantial way. If you don't do that, let's say you don't do that two months before the election, it, you've always got the sense that your side will just collapse on mm -hmm. election day because they wonder why they sent you there if you mm -hmm. could have done this and didn't. And so that's, that's a big difference. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.